Hi everyone, Lensman Oz here. This is Regrowth episode 32. How you all doing today? I've been a little busy, not overly busy. I um, started placing out where I'm going to eventually get into blood magic. I thought to myself, yeah, yeah, we'll maybe we'll do blood magic this episode, you know. I started placing out everything, so this is where the altar will go, obviously. It's fairly large. And I'll probably end up digging out underneath it and putting a, a mob farm of some description underneath to generate LP. So when okay, no worries. Let's see what a blood altars. How to make one of them, and I remembered. That's um fairly expensive. I don't know how the attuned stones are charged yet. I not really done much witchery, so I'm a little bit green on that. Um, we will started getting some of the other materials together anyway. But I thought, okay, well, it's obviously gated behind witchery and thorncraft. Which, yep, fair enough. So I figured, let's look at what we've got left in witchery. So, first things first. Uh, spinning wheel, I think we were going to do. So, spinning wheel requires... Four item frames, piece of wool, some planks, and a tune stone, and a stick. Ta-da! And a spinning wheel. So again, not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to go put it over in the witchy area. Witchy, witchy area. The witchery area. Um, and I keep saying it, and I keep forgetting to do it. Let's make a crafting table. And take it over there. Uh, I'm gonna need some slabs. Alright. There we go. Let's take one of these over. Probably should take some more chests, but meh. I'll get to that. All the way over here. So let's plop this down there. And spinning wheel can. I don't know, can go there. Not sure how it works. Anyway. So, spinning wheel is done. We can hand that one in. Uh, let's see here. Next thing to do. What's this? Which is hat? What does it require? Four impregnated leather. Which requires golden thread. So we need some hay bales. Okay. So we want a witch's hat and witch's robe. Witch's robe requires one golden thread. Yep. Okay, so let's get a hay bale. Do, do, do. Run it over. Let's go get some hay. Got plenty of that. Stacks and stacks and stacks of it. I'll also run you through what I've what I've done under the farm to I'll do any one. One hay bale. I had a couple of other whiffs of magic. Let's go and try this out. That in there, and what one are you? Alright, so it's doing its thing. Um, so it just seems, I think I was throwing eggs up in the air from over there. I think they're actually landing over here, which was a whoops moment. Okay, so that's the golden thread. Very cool. Uh, which is... Hat. So I'm going to need four impregnated leather. Okay, so I need four of that. And one, two, three, four, five, seven in there. So I'm going to need, what, three sets? So I'm going to need 12 leather, 12 whiff of magic, and 3 diamond vapors. Diamond vapor is oil of vitriol and a diamond. So I'm going to need 2 of them. Did I have a couple of those oils? Yes, I did. So let's grab 2 diamonds. Okay. 
might need to set up the cauldron at some point. So I'm going to need the leather as well, which I'll, um, I thought I had on me. Uh, let's see here. I did make some using Britannia. Could have sworn I still had it. I had like half a stack. Ah, oh, there it is. Cool. Oh, I need two more whiff of magic. <laughs> close. So very close. Okay, let's go over here. I think it was in here, here wasn't it? Distillery? That seems to be working. Alright. Um, nope. So I need a couple more Rowan saplings. Solar Rowan one. Let's see if we can get two for two. Come on, give me what I need. You go away. One. Come on, you can do it. Yay! So I needed three of them, didn't I? So let's just quickly... Yeah, that's two. So we can put the third one down. That, and then all we need... Oh, some iota purity there, we can... Uh, we're in there. Come on. Come on. Things take forever. Awesome. And that will give us 12 impregnated leather. Now I need a creeper heart and a piece of glowstone. So let's just set this up. Let's go get a creeper heart and a piece of glowstone, which we should both, yeah, we should get both of them from the farm. I think I've got a creeper heart lying around here somewhere, which it's probably good to just use up. There it is. Piece of glowstone. Gotta have some in a drawer, a chest or something. Really? Oh, there we go. My inventory's full. Get out. Let's do that. Alright. So let's make what we require. I'm not sure why I'm running back over here. I'm going to need to get some sort of teleportation device. That would be smart. Uh, what do we need? We need a glowstone. One hat. And then this, this, and that gets us the robes. Let's dump that, that. Oh, actually, I think I need them. Throw that in there, they can have that. Go away. Excellent. So that's that. That reward, we're going to get some more thread and some creeper hearts. Moving right along. What is this? We need some green wool. And four nether brick. Before I go running off. They can go in there. Okay. Got some nether brick in one of these chests, I believe. You can have that. That's living wood. Sixteen of them. <coughs> um, so we'll turn them into bricks. How many green wool? Uh, do I have any wool? 
Let's just take that for the moment. There. I need one. But two's fine. Cactus cactus green. Green wool. And that gets a popper shelf. Excellent. I'm gonna get a death protection popper. Which I don't think I have a tag lock kit for. So we'll throw the poppet shelf over here in the witchery area. You can just like go there. Awesome. I need another um another one of those uh, armor stands over here probably. Okay, what else we got? Let's go through these arcane alembics that I pilfered from Bjorn Valley's base on top of this thing here. Yeah, that'll be alright. Hopefully the joining together is not a big issue. Here you go, little buddy. Have that. I don't know where you're going to put it, but have it anyway. Let's see, so, okay, a couple of other things we can do. First thing is the critter snare and the grasper. Now the grasper, supposedly you put a chest above a block of water with long grass to each side. Now, I don't know if that's all four sides, but that's doable if it's meant to be all four. I'll take that. I have grass. I've already got the chest down. I don't think it's meant to be double height grass. So what we're going to need to do is just quickly dig up this. Put dirt there. And some grass. And then using a mutating sprig. Hey! I don't know if I have to pick them up now. I'm thinking I probably need to use shears to pick them up. Yes. There you go. <coughs> so there are graspers. That should hand that quest in. And the other one is... A critter snare. To mutate critter snares, place a spider's web above a block of water, surround it with alder saplings, and then ensnare a zombie in the web. Right click to mutate. Right click on what? Right click on the web. Okay, so I do have that set up just outside the base. But I need to make sure I've got a zombie. Have a zombie spawn. There we go. Probably wouldn't hurt to wait until it's night time actually, where are we? Ah, oh, it's daytime, it's, it's like early morning. That's a bummer. I might need to wait until at least it's dark and he doesn't burn instantly. Alright, what else do we need to do? We need to... Let's see if I've got all the stuff to make an altar. No, water bottles. That's right, I needed two water bottles. Ah, oh, bricks. Them somewhere. I'm doing a very good job lately of losing things. It seems to happen a lot. There's two. I, um, I'll put something down, or I'll put it away. And you know what? It all just... turns to... Um, 
to goop because I can't find anything. Now, I think someone did say to me that um, AE is a little bit expensive to run in this pack. And I don't really have the, um, the power gen to do that yet. So, it may need to be a waiting game. I oh, know I'm going to need more than that, so I'll just figure I'd get one ready. see two more uh, yeah so I'd, I've got outside here I got water with the cobweb over it and some dirt around it ready to place the saplings um, cobweb is craftable like so four string and a manner infused string fairly simple Alright, you know, I can just do this the old fashioned way. And the water bottle. Alright, that gets us our altar we need for the blood altar. So I've got, I've got to get some thormium charges. Don't know how to do the charge to tune stone. So we're, we're kind of stuck. I am going to leave that in this chest for the moment. I'm going to put the runic altar, the altar blocks, and I thought I had some thormium on me. It must be in the chest over here. And then I'll need to make one more. Um... Oh, I don't have any thormium over here. That's alright. I'll make some. I'll make some in a minute. Alright, um, so I suppose I should get back into what I um, have done in between episodes while we're waiting for it to go a bit darker. Um, you might be able to see here by the farm that a few things have swapped around a little. We now have uh, sulphur, um, amber, ardite, certus quartz, um, cinnabar I think is new as well. And that's about it out of them and what I've done downstairs you can see these nice little um, diamond essence lamps these are pretty cool lamps so this here the diamond essence lamp is the one I chose just because I like the color um, pretty simple it's diamond essence blocks around essence of glowstone stuff we've pretty much got diamond essence blocks is just smooth stone around one piece of diamond essence very cheap and gives a flight so I don't need to have as many torches out and I've gone around and all the intersections where I had a torch uh, obviously apart from these ones which have the flower underneath it all the intersections that um, had a torch are now this diamond essence lamp uh, the other thing I've done obviously we have cinder pearl out here we have amber seeds out here um, the next one to come over will be the the other thorncraft one it's going here. Uh, we've got cinnabar and things are starting to look quite nice so I can now I realized oh come on I'm missing it but I can do it with this sword and this will pick them up and um, send them on their way so downstairs It says, I come across the fact that, see, I was using these, right? And these are slow. They're quite slow in that they actually take a fair while. You can see this one's crafting its way through. They take a fair while to craft. Yet these things are almost instant. So what I've started doing is replacing these auto workbenches with the auto assemblers. Um, the other plus side is it doesn't require... Um, Hopper upgrades. Actually, I don't, I don't even know if it did. It was, I was having some, I was having some issues with the the barrels and that they weren't outputting, but then these seem to be working. Anyway, I'm using the auto assemblers instead. They are nice and quick, and I've hooked up a few more. We've now got the Certus one going. We've got 
osmium, sulfur, hardite, uh, amber, cinnabar, and yeah, so we're slowly but surely making our way through this. So you can see here, it's nice and quick, and then the this just pulls it out. Um, so we have here necrotic bones and with the skulls. So I've done that for a few things. This one is the creeper stuff, creeper hearts, creeper heads, gunpowder. But very slowly we're getting more and more automation down here, more and more items coming over to the system. And whenever I do that, I um, change the drawers around a bit, put some upgrades in, that sort of jazz. So this essence of the creeper I can probably actually take away and throw out in the field um, because I've got that that thing set up downstairs with the gunpowder and all that. Alright, let's see, got some fish. Alright, I'm um, getting close to the end of the episode. I've rambled on a fair bit. Uh, let's finish up this uh, last uh, witchery thing. And then we'll call it an episode, I think. Hopefully uh, be able to get a bit more stuff done. I really don't want to do this one. I don't. I know it says I had the nether star, but I did throw it away from the previous episode where I had to kill the uh, guy in creative. Brew of sleeping. Okay, I'll have to work my way to doing that. I wonder how much he's going to burn if I do him now. <laughs> Obviously, that last egg I threw spawned a chicken. Oh my goodness. All right, um, yeah, getting pretty close. Let's just try it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn you up here. Ah! No, don't die, don't die. Get caught in the web. No? Oh well, die then instead. Hey! <laughs> There we go. And there's the Christmas. Okay, so that was um, the way of getting them. We will need them later on to make other um, other stuff for witchery, I believe. Let's just check our book quickly. Yeah, so we've got these other ones. It's Hop Along and the Parliament Presiding. So we'll claim that. Toads died out in the wild in the wild a long time ago, so we need to make a slime critter snare and an ocelot. Two to four instead, small slimes and an ocelot. Spiderweb above a block of water, place the ensnared slimes to the sides of the web, then place four graspers at the corners. Place a charged tune stone with three mutants extremists. Then get an outslot caught in the web. <laughs> oh my gosh. How much more stuff do we need? And a bat in the critter snare. That gets you an owl. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen for a while. Alrighty. I'll wrap it up at this point. Thank you all for coming and joining me for this other, this, you know, new regrowth episode. Um... I hope you've been enjoying the episodes so far, and if you um, haven't been watching any of the other stuff I do, please feel free to um, catch a couple of episodes of some of the other series I do. Um, just started a 110 series, which we had a bit of an issue on with the world being um, lost. So starting that again next episode, um, which I'm not sure when I'm going to do that one. But it will be a fresh start, found a new village to live in.
things will um, begin again. So, thank you for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it. Comments down below. Catches in the next one.